Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Club Dubbo once again for the 2023-24 Bowls New South Wales State Championships. I'm Betty Two Shoes. Joining me today for this uh, mixed pairs semi final, Bowls Australia CSM, Mr. Jason Pinnock. Welcome. Thank you very much, Benny. Good to be back, mate. Um, quite some weather overnight. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I'll let you elaborate Did on we? that. So I'll just throw this up now and just, just show you what exactly what we're talking about. Uh, last night we had 60 mil of rain. Why isn't that coming up? There it is. And look on the screen there now. That was at 8 o'clock last night. All the greens flooded completely underwater. It was just an uh, absolute swimming pool. <laughs> that 60 mil of rain came in about five minutes, I reckon. That yeah. was just nuts overnight. The storms have been quite incredible. Um, good timing. There goes Andrew with his little horn. <laughs> <laughs> So today we're, uh, we've we got a rip of a game. Uh, Thomas Webb and Dawn Heyman from St John's Park uh, versus Leanne Chenoweth and Andrew Rees from Curry Curry. Uh, both these teams have made it through pretty strongly uh, and I'm really looking forward. I like because uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Tom Webb and Dawny Heyman, so I'm really looking forward to this. Yeah, both teams got through yesterday um, in their quarterfinal. One shot wins by both, I believe. They're mm-hmm. both 16 15. Exactly. Um, so they were very tight games. They both played over Macquarie, so it'll be interesting to see how they adjust to the Greens here at West Dubbo. Yeah, no roll ups last night for them <laughs> <laughs> with the water, but uh, look, it's uh, once again a credit to Darren and his, and his team getting these Greens absolutely smicko after a massive amount of rain. They've been on the. Uh, Rollers and still on the rollers, I think now. No, oh, they're yep, finishing up. Yeah, the other two greens are getting rolled still. And you tell me they'll be on them for hours, <laughs> yeah, running the water, yeah. and water through. Squeeze as much out as they can. No, oh, geez, Tom's straight on it. Great start by Tom. A lot of support here for uh, both these teams. Uh, Dorney having a chuckle with the supporters in the background. All the uh, triples players are here now. They're. Uh, They'll be coming into the club to watch this as well because the triples kicks off this afternoon after the final. Sean Aspel, good day from Ballina. Shawnee, how you going today, buddy? And Darren Drape, you're up early, mate. Go Dawn and Gilligan, that's right. Gilligan's his nickname. Exciting times there. Tom's got one on one behind. We've got the vest on this morning, Dawny and Tom both have got their little, uh, what do they call those things? It's not a wind cheater, it's a... Nearly puffer jacket, something. not Yeah. And I don't think it's that cold. <laughs> it certainly wasn't cold when we were setting the cameras yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. yeah a slight breeze out there, so... Oh, Lee, great shot. Yeah, just the edge of Thomas's bowl there. I'm not sure if she's holding now. No, but what she's done is really set the head up. Mm-hmm. Great for her skipper. Actually got a touch. That tells me it's shot. Yeah. Oh, and the Thomas tap comes down here. A little tap here. Well, that's good. It changes, and he he may have flopped back for shot there. Yeah, he's woken it up, and it's uh woken up, opened it up. What a what a great start to our semi-finals. Nailed it straight away. Having come across both these teams, having come across some uh, Macquarie Club onto a different green, and they've got this absolutely perfectly. But if we look at that, I. I'd suggest the uh, Leanne's bowls the shot, but geez, it's close. And knowing, yeah. the, knowing the two skips, it's not going to stay that way. It'll <laughs> change over and over and over. A really slight breeze popping. You can see the flags in the background of that shot. Yes, I was lucky enough to be over at that club watching both these skips yesterday, and they were both in scintillating form on their rinks. They were, Reese in particular, played a lot of howlers against the Cabramatta duo of Jesse Cattell and Carl Oh, no. Oh no, Andrew's bowls and Thomas's bowls are exactly the same. That'll be fun. <laughs> so Dorney, last time I saw her, she was bowling a uh, set of uh, maroon bowls for the Morton Bay Pirates down at BPL. Anton Lee from Tung Curry, welcome. Bill Taylor, hey, you welcome, mate. Glad to bring it to you. And Darren Draper saying the bowls at Nowra got washed out. I reckon there's a lot of rain around the state at the moment. A lot of clubs will be in the same boat. 
despite the rain, already we're seeing some good draw. Yeah, it's turn, isn't it? Yeah, the lads put a lot of hard work in it with the amount of vo just that volume of rain last night. And, uh, oops, our accommodation was uh, a wash yeah. as well. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say the uh, and we got to show the our lovely staff member Kira from uh, Ireland uh, a good Australian country storm as well with the the amount of lightning shooting shooting across oh. the sky. The chain lightning it was beautiful. It was a great spectacle to watch there last night. So that tells me Reese's holding shot. Yeah. Expecting Dorney to run through. Yeah. Looks positive. Looks like a positive hit. She, she's adjusted well. He didn't need to make too much adjustment. It'll just be a matter of which, where the jack goes. And she goes One. straight to her partner. Great so shot, Dorney Heyman. Great shot, Dorney Heyman. For the first replay of the day. So, no, this one will work. Where is that there? That's the ad. Sorry about that. That off the screen. Let's try this one instead. <laughs> Great shot. Look at the turn on that. It's perfectly weighted for a person of uh, Dawn's exceptional Brilliant. skill. That's a uh, fantastic shooting. Great starting. Well, she's picked up from where she left off yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, she was sensational yesterday over at Macquarie. I believe we'll see Dorney feature quite a bit in these championships. I did hear, I haven't checked Bowls Inc. myself, but I did hear some whispers around that she's in three disciplines. Oh, wow. Um, as other three disciplines, singles, pairs and triples now. That was just talk that I've heard around the, around the club this morning. Jeez, that's great. <laughs> well done, Dorney. I hope Jeez. I'm right, but... <laughs> yeah, we'll just... find out. <laughs> that's unbelievable. Let's have a look. Boslink, of course, the easy source to find all this stuff. Great resource. And just another while we're sitting here, the early morning times, uh, we're watching the lead bowls come down. The uh, Just a big thank you and, and congratulations so far. We're only, uh, what, day seven <laughs> of, this, of this marathon of... Uh, of live streaming, well done to Club Dubbo, Macquarie Club and uh, North Dubbo RSL Sporties for uh, supporting these championships. They're uh, doing an amazing job as hosts. Um, certainly from our perspective from Bolson, New South Wales, we're uh, being treated like kings and queens here a little bit. Yeah, they've really turned it on all three venues. Um, can't do enough for us, um, staff. Can't do enough for the players. Yeah, it's great. Again, it's just a great show of the good old country hospitality. <laughs> <laughs> you said that with a slight accent. I love that. I love it. <laughs> well, here comes Leanne. Just, uh, she's got the shot there at the back. That one's pulling up from just over a metre short, I'd say. Yeah. He's Darren running the mower, in the, the, sorry, the roller in the background there. He's been on that for a, since we got here. Yeah. Well and truly beforehand. Here comes Tom. Turning this, wants this to turn in, and it really has beautifully sat on Leanne's back bowl. That's a wonderful shot. Tim Twining, morning, gents. Good luck, Shelby and Hayden uh, Boykowski. Yeah, look, I should uh, point out that next door we do have another semi final. Yes. Uh, I haven't mentioned that yet, so let, where is it? It's. Uh, Shelby Powell and um, Hayden Boykowski, Raymond Terrace and East Maitland versus uh, Burton and Beasley from Lisa, Soldiers Point. Lisa yeah, Lisa Burton and Mick Beasley. Yeah. Yep. That's it. So we've seen a bit of those players, and they're playing exceptional well. Lisa is uh, one of the more fun people on the on the green out there. Out there, uh, just playing around with the cameras and setting stuff up, and she's just quietly singing to herself and loving life. She's got some character, Lisa. I yeah. think I said in a stream a couple of days ago that uh, I actually played against her in the over forties. Yeah, she's very great character. Very good bowler in her own right, though. Yeah. Very well, good clearly, bowler. you don't make it to yeah. a mixed semi like this without it. Oh, that one's just punched. Uh, punched up, um, Leanne, Leanne and... there. So Andrew will just be looking to draw and beat Thomas's bowl. It's currently shot. Oh, the jacket's come off for Dawn. Oh, yeah. 
Better put the scores up for you, hey? Oh, no. Let's pull that off. Sorry, guys. Nah. Director over here reminding me of my duties. And I haven't even started live scoring yet, so they better get onto that, too. Dorney's come down. Got the jack. That's still out in the open for Reese to draw. He's probably got about two foot at least to draw the shot. That's a really good shot. Uh, Dorney, she's kind of run through with it. And it's the sort of stuff she was playing yesterday. And we've got to point out there was quite a few times where she was holding shot, but she would trail Jack and make it a better shot. Yeah. You know, and oh, really, wow. really close off the end. Andrew Reese, that's a good shot. Andrew Reese. Tom's going to tell us what's what here. It's pretty close by the looks. Up and down, yeah. Ben Rouse is saying the weather looks better than Newcastle. It's raining there. Like I said, there's rain everywhere. And we copped it a bit, a, a heck of a lot last night. There's still a lot of cloud around. We've predicted storms all day today. But whether they hit us or not is another question. So far, it's looking good, Benny. Dawny's just underdone this here with a yep. waiting line. But... All right, chance here for um, Reese. Just play a similar bowl. Just beat it. Definitely get the shot. Said at the moment, it's a measure. He's out on a good track. Just got to run. He's very close here. He's, he's got to get to that black line, which he has well. Yeah. He's definitely got shot there. Oh, he pulled him out. Okay, so find that amazing because yeah, he said up and was down. saying it was up and down and then maybe he was talking about the second the second shot at the time too. when yeah. looking at this so true so measure for three shots here we saw St John's Park get one on the first end two I'd say yeah <laughs> haven't shown us but they've shown the score I'll get that in a second I'm actually trying to set up the uh Live scoring here at the moment while I'm doing all this stuff, so I'll be there with you very shortly with all the rest of it. So uh, looking at the scoreboard, we can see the scoreboard there in the picture now. It is it was a two. Yep. Excellent. We don't get mixed pairs. <laughs> so mixed pairs uh semi finals brought to you from Club Dubbo. And the first sections of the 23-24 Bowls New South Wales State Championships. And uh, it's amazing to be here doing this. And then... All right, we're there. Scores are in. And the scores next door, of course, are being uh, live... Scored again through a different system uh, on the bottom right. Someone tracking that for us. All I'd the volunteers say. here at, at Club Dubbo. Yeah. I was speaking to uh, Hayden yesterday, and he was telling me he's really got something to prove after uh, after some selection things that happened in his zone. He's made it to a semi-final in the in mixed. He's uh Bit of a testament to that, I think. He's got some skills, that man. And the way he was playing yesterday, wow. His results in the last 12 months have been amazing. He's um, anyone that follows the pages on the bowls pages on Facebook, you know, um, which is a good the Facebook page is a good place to go and have a look at results from all over the place. Um, Hayden Boykowski's name has been quite prominent in the last 12 months. So, and look, if he's playing like he's played this tournament, then absolutely it should be. It's magnificent. A good adjustment here. Oh, just a little short, so... Only the one down. Obviously, Thomas has got best position though at this stage, so a really good chance for him to put some pressure on here. Love to see him draw this jack right on, and... Which is nearly done, so... <laughs> That's a good setup by Thomas. One on, well, basically on one just behind, also counting, and then the one further back. So, as a skip, you'd be happy to see that all day long, I'd reckon. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's a, again, both the leads are setting this up so well, and, and uh, it's 
50-50 either way. They're really close, really nicely set up. Uh, Leanne's got one a bit wide there, but that's about all. The rest of it's everything else has been right in the head. Yeah, still opportunity for Reese. Bit of room there. So. Yeah. so I'm just looking up Dawn in the championships. I should sort that by kind. That's all right. So she's in the in the, in the triples, women's triples, in the women's singles, state championship women women's pairs, and this. So yeah, she's there. We go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So greasy, yeah. crack and bowl, drawing the shot. <clears throat> Just got to get under there, Dorney, and she's very close. Oh, found the yeah, hole. Well, not missing by much. In a great home, though. If we have a look back there, it's all St John's Park. With that ability for Dorney just to run a jack off the back of a shot bowl. So Reese should be looking to play similar to what Dorney did. Probably not wanting any <sighs> jack. Yep, finishing a really good home there. So. I can't tell whose is whose back there. I assume it's Tom and uh, Dawn on the real Tom left. Tom and Dawn on the left there. Reese sort of on the line at the back there. reese has got shot, obviously, right on Jack. Dawny's looking to push it through. And she has. Nailed great that. Great foul. Sitting now for three shots. That's unreal. Yeah. What's Reese got? He's out pretty wide. Yeah, he's a little bit too wide this time. His weight was all right. So he's probably yeah, just floated that little bit wide. So Dawn indicating that she's going to run down the ditch side, down the forehand to sit just outside her two bowls on the left-hand side. or And Tom indicating that if she misses, she'll run and sit on the uh, on the front right there, just cross the line a little bit. Less danger. I'd imagine Dawny would be playing not to cross the line here. Oh, <laughs> well, she's put it out there. Yep. Well, she's not happy either. That was one of those free kicks. Yeah. And Sim was saying, wherever you go, you'll know the, you'll know the name Dawn Heyman or see the name. I couldn't agree more. So three there for. Uh, St. John's Park, I'm pretty sure. I'll wait till the scoreboard ticks over before I click mine. Well, What's going on there? Yeah, that's... That's wrong. Yeah, no score has put the um, score on the wrong side, so... And I think Reese's having a chat with her now, so... <laughs> yep. It's all right. Yeah, these things happen. They get sorted. Looking at it now, it's 4 2. Mm -hmm. St John's Park. There we are, nicely updated, beautiful. Yeah, look, um, so I haven't seen much of uh, Reese and, and Leanne. I, I, I have seen them around and, and met them. Well, not Leanne, actually, I've met, met Andrew, but uh, I can tell you, Tom and Dawn are popular characters around lawn bowls in New South Wales. Oh, I mean. yeah, I could imagine. Um, yeah, Re Reese's always prominent in his area, playing mm -hmm. for Curry Curry. He's always a prominent member, prominent in all the championships around that way. Um, Which is good. Exceptional bowler. Can play. Uh, no, no doubt about that. So, haven't seen any patterns develop. It is still only early. No, no one. They haven't favoured a side. They haven't favoured a length yet. So, I'd imagine that will develop as the game goes on. I don't remember where Curry Curry is exactly. There we go. Out in the Curry, Curry north of Newcastle. Yep, Cessnock area. Yep, Cessnock. It's been a well, northwest of Newcastle. It's been a very um, unpleasant night in Cestock a couple of weeks ago. It was a, the roughest hotel I've ever stayed in my life. Uh, coloured me to the town a bit, but I think I drove through Curry. I should have uh, stopped and had a look. Oh, Tom's done well there. Part of uh, what we know in the men's zone, zone six. 
Yep, Tim saying Reese is a, a gun. He really is. I agree. And Leanne's obviously doing well as well. She's uh, thrown a couple of shorties there, but uh, it, it's been the the exception at the moment. The first two ends have been brilliant by both leads. Jesus, a crowd here. Look at them. There is a crowd. The uh, whole edge of this onto your right hand side of the screen. That's there the we end. go, Leanne. Great shot. Second wood. Well done. Yeah, right hand side of your screen is. Basically, the whole bank is full of spectators. Not wrong. And people standing behind them as well. So, great to see the state championships as we're down to the pointy end of the mixed pairs. Pointy end is right. I'll just show you what we're talking about there. That's just a half the half of what you can see there. So, there's a lot behind the camera on the other side. There's people in the club uh, watching on. They've got the big screen up behind us. It's interesting how many people actually are here a few days early, whether they're players or spectators of other or supporters of other players. They like to get involved in the whole event. So yeah. Dorney just a little short there. It's funny how that happens. You know, you go there because there's lots to do and see in Dubbo, clearly, yep. with uh, everything around. But you always get drawn back to the club. <laughs> you always want to be part of the atmosphere of this, uh, what is a festival of bowls for a couple of weeks. And look, it's a great opportunity for a lot of people who don't, especially out this way, that don't get to see these players, these elite players, so to speak, such as Dorney and Reese. They don't get to see them live as much. Oh, Reese's come down. <laughs> Made contact on Thomas's bowl. I think he just wanted to open it out, which he did. He which, has opened it up. Yeah, because he's just it's two down. But he now has an open draw shot, so. Yeah, Baden Powell asking for a score update from next door. I think that's about. Right at the no, it looks like no, three four now. Three four after three ends. Yeah, three four after three there. I'll see why that's not updating. I'm pretty sure it it's the Raymond is uh, East Maitland is up four three. Yeah. Okay, Reese's on a good track here. It's all on his weight, and he he's played this perfectly. Andrew Reese, come on down. Brilliant bowl. What a shot. Sitting six inches in front. Well, that's what he did. He wanted to open it up with his first shot, yep. which he did. He got Jack right out there. And with this shot, this is an, a sniper of a bowl from a, yeah, from a long definitely. distance. Has run that all the way down. Dorney's coming down. Hit like Jack this. fat and just ran it nearly to the ditch. Great shooting, Andrew Reese. Dorney's bowl. Down. Made contact. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that's a brilliant effort. She couldn't drive it off because it was a toucher. She was just trying to flop it out and stay herself, so. Now can Reese repeat the dose and get himself a two? He's on a very similar track. It doesn't matter Maybe if he runs it in. wider, but that's good. It doesn't matter if he runs it in. Or oh, he wouldn't want to miss that. <laughs> just dropped in. It was Jack or his bowl. Yeah, most definitely. And because the touch is still live. So one to the Curry Curry team. That's correct. And great bowl, Andrew Reese. That was that was amazing. Great two bowls actually. The yeah. first one to open it out, and the second one to nail it. That's yeah. just perfect. It's not a bad lesson out there for a lot of new or newer sort of bowlers that are skipping. Oh, you know, hello. it's not always about getting the shot with every single bowl. Who's this? Um, that's the scoreboard attendant. It's one of the volunteers. <laughs> <laughs> not about getting the shot with every single bowl and having to play the absolute. Ripper every bowl, but Reese obviously showed there, opened it up, give himself an option of uh, drawing the shot later on. So, so they've gone long, mate. Look at this. They have gone long. So now we're starting to see some tactics get involved here. Let's see, Dorney and Tom were uh, playing pretty uh, medium ends, you'd say mid length. Yeah. And these guys have chucked another a good couple three meters on it. On yeah. that, I'd suggest. opened up pretty well there. She's really good weight. Oh, yeah. Really good effective bowl first up for Leanne. And Shot Thomas Tom. has replied well. <laughs> this, like you said, this I always talk about the subplot in a three-bowl pairs game and, and the subplot's the, the lead battle, the singles battle at the start, and these guys are putting on a show. Yep. Okay, so Leanne would Definitely be wanting to reach. She's probably wanting a metre on a last. Oh, yeah. She's got good weight. Contact. 
Oh, may have a shot. May Jack Highball. It's pretty close. No matter what, she's, she's setting up well. Yeah. Straight away giving her team chances. Thomas won't be happy with that one. Yeah, he's pulled a bit narrow. Yep. These things happen. He'll get do. another opportunity with his third. And uh, Lisa, of course, got the... Sorry, Leanne. Lisa's uh, next door. Leanne, uh, again, wants to put maybe another metre, get one back. Yeah, she's gone a couple of bowls wider this time, so this should get the back bowl in. Yeah, very good. That's great leading. That is. Really is good leading. It's a big truck <laughs> going to the background. She's, just, she's caught my eye on the left. You'll see it in the camera view now. That's a wowee. Yeah, good shot there, Tom, as well. Yeah. We know both these players have uh, got every shot in the book in their arsenal, so back bowls are always really good bowls. Yeah, these players are killers. The quality is exceptional. Yeah. As more and more people come out, they're starting to drag chairs out of the uh, main club now. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, You're calling for grandstand if this keeps up. It's just, it's, there is standing room only out there. Every every bench, every seat's taken. State championships are building up. It's great to see. Makes me nervous. <laughs> Don't touch my cameras. He's <laughs> worried about his equipment. <laughs> Andrew looking to move that one out. That's a pretty good plan in the end. There's two there sit sitting, and that's good weight. He just yeah. missed it, just crossing across the line to push Thomas out. It's a really smart bowl. He's a clever bowler. It's not just the skills. It's the, the thinking, the tactical yeah. thinking is amazing. If you want to uh, learn something, watch these games here. This is bowls at its best right now. It's a dawny bit short there. She would have loved to at least reach, so she'll make the adjustment with the next one, guaranteed. So, Reese, you looking to just come under Dorney's last bowl, turning his own over or just inside of it? <sighs> Might be doing it, it hitting Dorney's one in. Oh. Okay, so no damage, but harder for Reese to get in there now. Mm -hmm. It's only a little gap. So, um, Dorney's well put, giving it more grass this time. Yeah, she, giving it the correct air. I guarantee she's got better weight too. And Yeah, wow. Yeah, they don't often put two bowls... Wrong in a row down. Oh, this one is a little white, too wide. Great weight. It's Monday today, isn't it? That explains why there's so much traffic. I'm just today is Monday, Benny. Just yeah. keep losing track of the days. At the moment, every day is the same, isn't Seven it? Seven days without break so far. <laughs> Start speaking to the boss about getting a half day off. Go, yeah, go hey, visit the zoo. What a gig to just... Oh, mate, work. yeah. <laughs> this is brilliant. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> I do want to go to the zoo, though. <laughs> so that line's an aggressive line. Yeah, he's crossing. And he was actually looking to sit Thomas through, obviously, with that sort of... Well... <laughs> the other way. <laughs> Jeez, that would have been the, the greatest wick ever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's... People collecting chairs from everywhere. Standing room only is uh, the case. He, just watching the people clean out the club. <laughs> looks, <laughs> looks like they're looting. <laughs> See the background there. <laughs> okay, so Dawn will be looking to make contact on Thomas. If she's under, she can sit on it. She can edge off those two pinky white coloured bowls and get a shot as well, so... She's going to clunk into her own. Nope, missed that too. Yeah. Is it getting wider already? Just, just struggled to find the line there. Second one was wide. First one narrow. Third one narrow. So one to curry. One it is to curry. Four all. Five ends down. Four all. The other game, we see Soldiers Point now. In front, so the lead's constantly changing in semi-final number two over there. Mick Beasley, his team from Soldiers Point, have hit the lead. So just want to, while this starts off, I had have uh, I have to show you the 
like and share promotion. Oh, dear, he's on it. Jason's jumped up straight away uh, with Sharp EIT Solutions to win your share of prizes worth over $5,000. Uh, there's a 70-inch Android Smart TV, 40-inch Smart Touchscreen, which is what I'd be keen on, a high-speed printer and a couple of microwaves. Uh, terms and conditions apply at com that au. But essentially, all you have to do is like this post, share it, and uh, every single one of our live streams, and you'll be in the running to win some amazing prizes thanks to Sharp EIT Solutions. Back to the game. And guess what? I've just realised, Benny, I've shared most of them posts, but I didn't like them, so my entry <laughs> will not go in. <laughs> oh, dear. You can go back and like them now. It's, it's still there. Ah, it's all good. <laughs> Just been jumping on, hitting the share button and going, thinking I've done my job. No, you must like the original post as well. <laughs> <laughs> Darren Draper is saying, careful that they don't lock me in the zoo. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again, yes. You were telling the story, weren't you? Yeah, I'm being an idiot. I got locked in last time we were here uh, for the Junior 7 aside at Club Dubbo last year. And uh, yeah, I was there a bit late and they'd locked the giant gates, like Jurassic Park-sized gates, and they'd locked them. I was... It was a bit freaky, actually. It was great fun. <laughs> no, I've since discovered there's another escape route. <laughs> okay, Thomas just wanting to get under that bowl, which yeah. he has. Very good bowl by Thomas there. This is a great bowling from the from the leads. The skips are, the skips are doing some pretty remarkable things. Um, things that I don't almost consider trick shots, but the <laughs> but the leads have just been uh, mechanical. So Machine like. Leanne just looking to do similar. Just get under that bowl. Couple of options. Sit the bowl. Would be ideal. Bit of jack. Brilliant. Oh, oh back cut the jack. Probably the worst result. But good effort. Probably the only bad result for that bowl was that. Yeah. It was back cutting the jack. Yeah. But uh, yeah, in the end, it's still, still reachable. And she's got a usable bowl there as well. Most definitely. Looks like Dorney's just called Thomas to come around behind this time. Probably trying to get to Leanne's back bowl there. I was just going to... Just playing for position, and he has... Yeah, good shot. Well done. Now, I was just uh, noticing in something that... Because Tom's quite a tall guy. Uh, tall guys have different mechanics to short, stumpy dudes like me. And I was going to show you a bit of a... Uh, a... Uh, Excuse me, uh, some footage of how that works because he's got a long way to bend down compared to, you know, the, the rest of us normal humans, I guess. Okay, <laughs> 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 Racy. Just looking to get under that bowl. Oh, got the edge of it. Oh. Oh. Wow. Well, he's got an open draw either hand now, but you know, if he's just under that bowl, he's he's onto the shot and he flops. So, great effort. He's given himself a, a a good option on, but yeah, like you said, he both has. hands. But he's also got that shot now under his own on the right-hand side, swooping between those bowls. And it, might, it could even bring uh, his partner's bowls into play. Yeah, Dorney would be looking to jump right on this jack now. If not, even try and trail it through that hole a little. Tom just willing it on. Oh, that's a good shot. That's, that's great. That's Tom. taking that shot away. Yeah. She's amazing. This will be an interesting shot selection. I, I imagine we may see a bit of uh, aggressive weight coming down here. I didn't know you were there. You scared the shit out of me. <laughs> this noise. So, Reese lining up on the back end. That tells me he's going to be playing an aggressive weight. Penny Carroll watching from uh, down under in Tasmania and rooting for my buddy Lisa. Go the point. So, next door. Not sure. It's just <laughs> dived under. Wasn't it as aggressive weight as I thought he may yeah. have played, but um, he played a good weight. Just ducked under. But so, The thing I do know about Andrew Reese is when he plays heavy, <laughs> when things get hit, they stay hit. Uh, look, Donnie's running out for some cover, I think. I don't know yeah. if she's going to get there. No. I don't think he's got that shot. That last shot he played, I don't think he can get Jack Fat on I that I think side. he needs to be a bit more aggressive. Yeah. If, he, if he's playing that backhand, it's 
basically probably losing his bowl. But it depends on how confident he is out there. He's lining this one up fairly strong, I'd say. Yep, a little bit. It's a, it's a nice, aggressive... Uh, it's an aggressive line because they, they've been swinging from there. Here it comes. It's got options in there. Oh, so no. Unlucky. So that time he was just that bowl wide. First one, bowl narrow. Both really good bowls. So all Dorney has to do is chuck another one in near it. This is what the free kick is, but it's a pretty pretty interesting draw. Yeah, she wouldn't be wanting any contact on Jack whatsoever. She's, she's come down the forehand by oh, the look of this. School's okay. up. Sorry, team. It is her coming in, that, black, that blue one short. She's willing it up, so... Yep. Wants it to run. Tom's doing the same thing. I reckon it's there. Great bowl, Dorney Heyman. Magic draw shot. How important are those bowls in a, in, in a game like this? You Just know? A, that, like you said, the free kicks, they're hard to do sometimes. Yep. She, she missed one coming this way. Yep. Uh, it's 8-4 now. Yep. They could be really telling bowls at the end of a match, picking up that extra one when it's on offer. Just as important as saving shots if you're down. Oh, yeah, correct. Absolutely agree with you, mate. It's, uh, saving shots feel good, too. They do. Yeah. <laughs> they do. Yeah. So watch watch uh, Thomas. He's got a very, very straight arm. He's obviously coached very, very well. The mechanics just look different to uh, the way he kind of has to hold his body slightly differently as a as a taller person and delivers beautifully he's a great yeah, bowler yeah. love the curry uniform eh? curry cannons cannons yeah, yeah it's pretty cool looks good on Reesey too by the way <laughs> he's a big strong boy isn't he Look at, those, look at those Popeye forearms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Legend. Okay, so both players just dropping short here with their first two, so we'll see some adjustment. Which Thomas has done very, very well. Yeah, well played. Didn't stick with it. Still very open, of course, but uh, it's at least jack high and handy ball. Like the track that Le that Leanne's on here. She's got a very good weight too. Great. Yeah. So both players adjusted well with their weight after the first two. Well done. Mr. Lee Stinson just coming in to check we're doing the right thing. You're going to jump on the headset, mate. Yeah. All right. <laughs> anyway, grab the chair. Oh, that's right. You've got a meeting, so. Uh, that's it. So Jason's running off for a meeting, and I've got a, a special guest for us, the uh, my boss and uh, executive sport manager, manager of sport at Bowls New South Wales, Mr. Lee Stinson. Welcome back from a birthday party, I think you were at last night. I was, mate. Thanks, Ben. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, our son turned 19 yesterday, so yeah, duck back to Orange for the evening for a, for a birthday dinner. Missed the storms. Well, you yeah, missed we, it. We really had the rain in range last night, so I've missed all of that. They absolutely killed us. I'll just show you that again. The uh, For anyone that missed it right at the start of the coverage, this is what uh, the Greens looked like at 8 o'clock last night. Oh, wow. And they were well and truly underwater, more like swimming pools. Uh, yeah, it was a bit nuts here. We, Like I said, our accommodation got well and truly flooded. There's a swimming pool out the back, and it was full of something I've never seen before, which is a mole cricket. Hundreds of them. That was that was amazing. Yeah, and I've never seen them before. See, Dorney Heyman. Dawn. Oh, touches it twice. Great shot. He made three there with that. So we're going to have some fun here because Tom's bowls and Andrew's bowls are exactly the same, and they're both red and white, red and blue stickers. So, uh, <laughs> so okay, just got so to pay, pay really got to pay attention. Yeah. <laughs> First win for the day, mate. I see that um, Jason's left his lunch ticket. Oh, yeah. Well, one. So there's two, a win two lunches. Us. Yes. <laughs> so, Reese shaping up. Did you look on screen that that's a forehand shot? 
He's just trying to get a close bowl. Oh, well, looks at this down on the backhand. He hasn't been scared of it so far as far as getting playing a metre or so through really well, but I think I do think the green's widening up very quickly. Uh, it's a slight breeze out there, it is, and it's been beautifully prepared by the green keepers. And uh, I think it's the green is changing, and I don't think he's quite got the change with it. And same with Dawn. Dawn up on this side too. She'd be disappointed with that. Really good line to come up and sort of change the look of that. So for Andrew here, the shot hasn't really changed. If he wants to back himself down on that backhand side again, the angles are still the same. Oh, it looks like he is turning it over. Yeah, from could... here it looks like a a more visually pleasing shot. Yeah, than his forehand. Well done, uh, Leanne. Just saying, no, this is your shot. There's the there's the pace I was expecting. Looks really close to some contact. Oh, jeez, he's just kicked Tom across. So still three down, but wow, we a fat hit on uh, Tom's bowl would have changed everything. But that's I don't think uh, changed much. Oh, the little breeze is kicking my camera around now. Is there a gust? A little bit, not really. Yep. Donny just trying to hold on past the pink, just shy of pace. So Andrew Reese can choose now. He moved that bowl of Thomas Webb's out of the way, so he's got the choice now. Whether he wants to play the same weight again or go back to more a draw weight. Looks like he's trying to reach just over draw. Both play both of the skips have been playing this shot uh very, very well. Oh, this is a dead draw. Oh wow. Maybe reasonably happy with that to get one. They they look, dropped the four last end. And uh, the St John's Park team have consolidated with a one, backed it up. Uh, backed it up nicely. I'm not sure who we've got doing our other scoreboard, Ben, but I can see out the window that's now 7-5. So Shelby and Hayden have picked up a shot on the last end. Have we got access to that in here, or is one of our club volunteers... One of the club volunteers is doing that one. I'll just make sure that my loops are correct in, uh, in a second, because for some reason it keeps shutting down the loop, but... Seven four on five. Yeah, Andrew's doing it actually. <laughs> it's probably off having a chat. Yeah, seven five on eight. Yeah, wonderful coordinator behind us here, Anthony Brown. Six. If he's got the sheet open, we might con him into doing a couple of updates as well. We've got Helen from our state match committee, so Helen's out there as well. Oh, yeah, Ben's got it up on screen. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with it then. There's too many, too many fingers in that pie already. <laughs> no, not playing. So look at Tom's uh, chucked it long and dropped the bowl right on Jack, right near Jack once again. He's he's playing some kind of game. Tom is just giving uh, his fiance Dawn every opportunity. He was the first to admit this afternoon he probably didn't have his greatest game in the quarterfinal. But they found a way... Sarah Boddington and Clint Douse from Foster played exceptionally well over at Macquarie Club yesterday afternoon. And Dawn found a way, as I say, to get out of trouble and sneak away with a win. A slightly fortunate result when she was a few down on the second last end and then made sure she crossed over last end three down and, and drew a couple of shots in there. Yeah, I hope Botto pops in. I haven't actually seen her this trip. Lovely person. Yeah, she may do. I think Sarah would be involved in multiple events throughout the state champs. Yeah, we're well, just coming on how many Dawn's in. She's got four four different disciplines, I think. Everything except the fours. Mm. So we've got our defending state champions from Cabramatta Ladies in the fours. There's another good one there from Tom. That's Almost perfect lead bowling. No, it is perfect. That's one behind, one on, and one rescue sitting there as well. No ledges, no uh, nothing to crash into. We know Andrew Reese is a highly proficient, um, has a really exceptional run, is what I'm trying to say, and uh, he's got some skills. And here comes Leanne just dropping in there for a second shot. That's great bowling. Yeah, good shot there from Leanne. Very good bowler in his own right. Andrew, one 
an Australian Open title about a decade or so ago now. Yeah. I think it was a fours. Australian Open fours. Andrew Reese. So, been a top bowler up in that area. And I heard yesterday you caught up with a few friends down here from Dubbo that you used to play uh, representative cricket with. Oh, wow. They told me he was a pretty decent fast bowler. So 2014, so 10 years ago, he was a Australian Open Pairs champion. Oh, Pairs, sorry. Doesn't look any different there. Hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> there he comes, he's playing his forehand. I like that his um, Facebook tag is Buddha Guts. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> Just underneath... This one. Nice wait just to turn Leanne's bowl over, but miss the line. And good morning, Barbara. Good to see you again. Good morning. Yes, yeah, the uh, next game of the Mix Pairs final. We are definitely going to be bringing you the final next. Straight away after this, we're shifting across to rink nine for some reason. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and then this afternoon... As Kay Moran walks past in front of us as well, there's another legend. She's got her own Wikipedia page. That's why I think she's a legend. And then we'll be going down to the bottom green this afternoon at 3.30 uh, to kick off the triples. Uh, Andrew on a wider line here. He's the same weight. He's going to be close. Under. What a good effort. Another one just past there. See Tom just asking if he can just try and cover this up. Tom just wanting to know how many they're holding. Tom thinks two. Obviously definitely one with his own back bowl. Dawn's That's a narrow shot. Just narrow on that side with that little bit of breeze that we have this morning. Still a very good amount of turn there, but good weight. Like, well, fair weight. Needed a bit more uh, a bit more grass, I reckon. A bit more paddock. Pretty even, these bowls at the back. So, Andrew Reese, turn Leanne's pink one up. I'm going to have a word with Dorney. Oh, she threw really them out. Really close. Oh, can he touch off the front bowl and onto the jack? He has. That's well, just Tom at the back. Against him. That's that last ball of Tom's that Dawn uh, asked him to put there, and it sat there and rescued that end. A really good shot by Andrew Reese. Anything yeah, except that right edge. Weight, mm. Played the right weight. Sometimes you can just put him in the area and hope you get the result on the day. First team into double figures. Always a good little aim when you're playing, Ben, isn't it? First one into double figures. Just, just looking there. To four. We're on seven all on seven next door. Maybe seven. I, I don't think the ends are right, but uh, we'll see. It might be eight ends. I think they may have missed a, a turnover of ends, so I think we, we might even jump the boat for them there. Yep. Well, maybe it is seven. I'm just looking at the direction that they're playing. Uh, probably is seven. They're going in the opposite direction of what our match on stream is, so... Three sevens, the old slot machine jackpot on that rink. This is a complex <laughs> uh, spreadsheet that Andrew's made, and I'm not taught and haven't, haven't looked at the data in this yet, so it's going to be interesting. Let's see if we can find it. <laughs> the, I'm looking for the uh, mixed pairs. There we go. That's the one there. Does like a spreadsheet. Ooh, no, Andrew, look, I, I definitely broke it. He's a fan of uh, spreadsheets, oh, Andrew. No. I'm, I'm, no. <laughs> nope. There is, he's a spreadsheet man. He loves uh, Microsoft Excel, and I am not touching that anymore. Something went wrong. I like Excel myself, but not someone else's Excel spreadsheets. Nice crowd starting to build up here. There's see plenty of supporters for our four teams in action in the semi-finals, as well as teams starting to arrive. In preparation for triples, as you said, Ben, starting later on this afternoon. Leanne so, here just, oh, just missed the jack. Yeah, it's um, 
Oh, yep, that's gone. That's because I broke it. Seriously, <laughs> so the score's gone off there. Sorry, guys, I have broken this uh, spreadsheet. If you are just joining us, seven all after seven ends. Hayden Boykowski and Mick Beasley <laughs> in their other semi final. I can't believe I've done that. Where is it? Just underweight with his last year. So Leanne trying to play very similar bowl. Just up and over the draw. Sit the bowl, trail the jack, finish behind. Oh, this one's going to have a bit of reverse swing. Yeah, that game's vanished. It's going out to the side. On too wide a line there to start with. As you said, that rink is just a little bit narrower. Yep, we've got, so I've got that back, bit back. Let's see if this if this works. Nope. <laughs> Don't touch it. See, it's not good. There's nothing good happening here. I've just deleted everything, so I'm just leaving that alone. I'll let the experts look after it when we are on. It's, I can tell you now, it is seven all on that that uh, rink on seven ends. <laughs> we'll focus on this one. That was we'll that was terrifying. One, we'll focus on this rink. So, Dawn crossed over, holding one. She's going to be in the gap here. How much weight has she got? It's close. Yeah, close. I'm just looking out there, it's um Maybe half a meter mm. or so short. Jack. Andrew Reese has a very similar shot to what he just played the end previous. Can almost draw up here with whatever weight he likes. And opportunities in his favour. Well, that's the weight he likes. He might get an edge off something. Or well, he's missed everything. I don't even know how he missed that. Really important here for Dawn to pass Jack High. Mm -hmm. She'll be fully aware of that. Turn any of her own three bowls up or pass Jack down to the Andrew Reese last bowl. <laughs> I'm full of saying word on the scores are right now. I can tell you I did nothing. <laughs> Except break that spreadsheet a little bit. But that's a good shot by Dawn. Uh, Andrew has to push Jack through a little bit, or would really like to. There's six down now on the eighth end. This is one here for Andrew. Obviously, the perfect trail is only about half a metre or so, but mm -hmm. you can't be afraid to overplay this. If he overplays it and trails it back to Dawn's, well, so be it. He's got this one, he's going to hit and sit. Well, that's the perfect result. That's one, maybe two. And Dawn now. To play something similar herself. Trying to trail it back to her own, no That's doubt. It. Yeah, she's got the best back. She can afford to come through pretty strong here. That'll need it is pretty strong. It is a weight to hold that line. Not quite strong enough, I don't think, by Dawn. So Andrew's still got that shot on. Same shot. Just trying to run Jack through half a metre and pick him up a big number. Absolutely. You know, you've got a pitcher here almost drawing to the tee. You collect the jack on the way through, you get the optimal result. You're just wide to get a touch up, but will he stay in the count? Nice weight for that trail. Two. It was two. So the pink one did already count at the back. You've got that spreadsheet working okay for this game. This is Bowlslink. I know Bowlslink. Bowlslink's the easy one. Spreadsheets are difficult. You just weren't a kid of the 80s, were you? Excel or 90s? <laughs> oh, no, I know. No, mate. The whole world still runs on Excel. If you knew, knew how much Excel was in the back of uh, so many programs, uh, you'd be scared. That's why they can't shut it down. They shut down Excel. They shut down the world. Andrew well, Lynn might have created it, did he? Was he part of the team with Gates <laughs> and those guys back in the day? It wouldn't surprise me at all. Isn't it? I just like all the Microsoft, the little paperclip that come up. Oh, you like that? The little paperclip guy. The little icons that used to come up on your yep. Microsoft programs. This is interesting. Umpire's just conferring about <laughs> something there. I saw Chairman of our State Umpires Committee, Alan Clark, just, just making mention of something there to one of the umpires to keep an eye out throughout the game. You see there in the bottom of the screen, next door, Soldier's Point. It's taken a narrow lead. <laughs> and a distinct change in length here on our... <laughs> oh, Clark's looking pretty staunch, walking down there, actually. Shoulders back. Just having a word with one of our umpires. Yeah, Other both umpires them, yeah. here as well. 
testing out some of the equipment. Tommy, good opener there. That's half a metre. Roughly short of the jack. Always hard as an opposition when you can't see the jack. Oh yeah, it's it's the hard. I, I think it's the hardest shot to uh, to beat if your lead puts it just ahead of the jack, hides the jack, and uh, then it's just makes life tough for everyone in from everyone else, which is great. Which is Probably what uh, something that's less practiced at club level. You're setting up some bowls against you and a picture of that match scenario where you're trying to finish in front of them. Yeah, I tried started setting up drills at the Husky, but I haven't been uh, back to do it since. <laughs> I haven't been home, uh, especially this three weeks is going, which is fantastic to be here at, at uh, Club Dubbo and in the Dubbo region. Um, we still haven't had our staff game yet, have we? Ben? No, we haven't had a chance. Right? <laughs> we just couldn't do it last night anyway. But uh, and St Patrick's Day last night, I did go and. Uh, well done. Fantastic shot. Maybe she's done some of those drills that you were talking about, <laughs> right? Exactly right. Look at the players we've got turning up now. There's Sam Ferguson down there. Sam Ferguson, Bree Smith, Brandon Gray. Oh, yeah, Bree's down there, yep. Uh, all starting to roll in for these triples. And some of those ladies, obviously, members of St. John's. Oof. Here on Tommy and Dawn. Just gets the wrong side of that bowl, does Tom. Now, shots everywhere for everyone here. It's uh, a lot going on. Interesting set up there. So Leanne looks to be holding two and not really any great options there for Dawn at the moment apart from a draw on the forehand. So Andrew Reese will be hoping not to build a target if he can just get around this ball on the forehand himself. Something I'm enjoying, mate, is watching the Facebook live feed at the moment. And thanks, everyone, for joining us. We've got a good crowd of people watching, but... Uh how many people are actually, how it's almost dead split down the middle between, on this rink, the Curry and St John's, and then on the other rink, uh, Soldiers Point and, uh, and uh, East Maitland, actually. It's, uh, it's amazing. Just missed the line there. Doesn't open anything up, importantly. Morning, Melda. up. There is just a draw line of the jack here around the front. Just got to match up weight and line perfectly to come back. Tom urging this one forward. Oh, that's a good shot. Dawn Heyman. That's the shot. This will be replay worthy. We'll watch that again. Here's one of our highlights. Drawing around the uh, around the front. No, she's at two down. Looking for Jack. Tom urging it on. Come on. And it's just perfect weight. Touch Jack. Take it slightly back off the shot bowl. And now holding in a very difficult shot for Andrew Reese. Yeah, so he'll turn over now, try and find Leanne's bowl. Overdraw weight. Turn it onto the jack or onto Dawn's last. Uh, what a great oh, attempt. Jeez, that was close. Once again for Dawn, it must be at the back of the rink. Thanks, Tom. You've indicated that very nicely for us. <laughs> Roughly about a metre yep, pass. Just there, please. <laughs> As we said, there is a chance... If Andrew makes contact with the pink, it probably gets some of the jack and the bowl. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll spit out like a may move a little bit. Spat out like a pip. This needs to run a long way to get to that good spot. Mm -hmm. oh, she's probably giving him a slight angle there potentially. If he's a couple of bowls wide now. So Andrew Reese, no doubt, to be very similar weight. He's only a bowl outside of his last. I think this may be quicker and wider. Yeah, just increase the pace for that one. Didn't come back. All right. And they may take this. Pretty sure we've seen all the bowls in this end, unless Dawn wants to try and tap it. But I'm not sure it's exactly there at the moment. He's where I haven't been paying attention. That bowl to the far right, is that Tom or is that... I don't know. Well, look with the stickers. So yep. this is a... There was a finger pointed to the back. It was either at the scoreboard or at the tee. So this is either a practice draw yeah, shot practice for Dawn run. somewhere else. Or an incredibly brave yeah. option to try and <laughs> touch the jack. Yeah, I think if it's forehand, it's going long. Yeah. And still so watching that do? one intently there. So that was the plan. Practice draw. 
No, she did very, very well. A thumbs up from Tommy. <laughs> Magic. A good little tip there, Ben, isn't it? You can either take that one shot or, in essence, she really did take one, but use that chance to draw to somewhere else on the rink that she might need later on in the match. Absolutely. So 11-6 now. We're up to the 10th end. I don't think this is downhill run to the 18th. They are playing an 18-end game. Respot the jack. Essentially no dead ends. I'm not going to get into the definition of that. Andrew did the other day. Uh, unless a dinosaur escapes from the zoo and nicks off with the jack, and there'll be no dead ends. And uh, what's the other thing I've got to say? Oh, time limited too. Not that it's been a factor at all, but uh, two and a quarter hours for these games. Dawn's practice draw shot was obviously because she wanted to lengthen this right up. So right back to the tee now. The mat's at two metres, two and a half metres from the tee. And I see on the neighbouring rink, Hayden Bukowski has just played a fantastic conversion shot. One down, last bowl. He sat the shot bowl and stayed for three. So Shelby and Hayden, 10-8, now in front at the halfway mark. Yeah, I think we're well ahead of time. We're at about spot on one hour played. Yep. yep. Spot on one hour. I hit the, uh, my timer exactly as Andrew did the shaving and haircut routine with his horn. And, uh, God, he loves that thing. <laughs> it's, you know, Anthony Brown behind us doesn't know what he's unleashed by giving Andrew that horn. <laughs> we might have to punish Anthony in a moment by getting him into commentary. <laughs> he did a good job with us yesterday. He's a, a busy bloke at Club Double, obviously. Uh, all the clubs here looking after herding the cats of all the volunteers and uh, making sure everyone's looked after and they're doing a great job. That's uh, Club Dubbo, Macquarie Club and North Dubbo RSL Sporties. I'm sure when we move cameras in between rounds, Ben, we can get any one of quite a number of these special guests outside to come and join in Jeez, for, be a few, for commentary for, for the final. Well, I'm looking at Kay Moran to start with. She's good on the microphone. She was good when we were at Fig Tree last year. Sam Ferguson, I'd like to get her on and question her about her, uh, her brother, um, who's dating my niece. <laughs> uh, who else is out there? There's a few. So Johnny Green, one of our former New South Wales open side players. Coming here for the triples as well. So a couple of shots there for Leanne on the crossover. Leanne and Andrew yesterday afternoon defeated Cabra Matters, Jesse Cattell and Carl Healy. Mm. And Leanne was very solid in that. Always had at least one quite close a couple others in good positions every end and conditions a little bit tricky yesterday afternoon just enough of a breeze to be a nuisance Carl just couldn't mm. quite find the exact angles and unfortunately for him just gave away a few shots early on in the game but both Stitching games Jack. amazingly finishing 15-16 uh, three of our four games yeah. in the quarterfinals 15-16 Quite amazing. Yeah, it was interesting watching because we could, obviously we can only see the ticket coming over. The club, the other club's a bit far away, and the earth is not flat, so uh, <laughs> could get the binoculars out to have a look. But yeah, it's a uh, oh, what, Henry Henry through to the back. So still holding a couple. Yeah. Dawn Jack I in the first underneath. Yeah, Jesse and Carl four behind playing the last against Andrew and Leanne and held four. Andrew Reese able to get fourth shot with his last as Dawn just up over. Needs a touch. Oh, just one of the edge. A little back cut would have been great for it. Important end, actually. I think this is... If they get a multiple here, it's uh, the Curry team. It's definitely game on. There's never out of it, of course, but in tough conditions against not tough conditions against tough opponents like this you're not going to get many opportunities to get a big score or a big multiple and uh well that doesn't count but that is going to look awful for dawn at the other end and you can see already she can't really play the same shot so it's over to the forehand 
Just a draw to the tee. We should practice in the last end. In the other, yeah, way, other direction. I'm convinced about the weight no, here, man. Me either. Yeah, it's going to pull up in front. So here's an opportunity. Oh, it's funny how the game goes. Andrew is trying to draw a really good shot. He gets... you have done, after you've drawn with his last one, he would have held three, but Dawn could have played basically exactly the same thing. He pulls up short on the draw, doesn't count, but makes his opponent shot yeah, harder just by chance. So he's given that, given that some uh, some paddock. It's coming around now. Just needs to stop anywhere there and that flop like down. From where we yeah, are. looks all right. That's three. Big end. Eleven shots to nine. That's a big end. I think that, like I said, we're at, you know, at, after ten ends, it starts to get a bit tense, a bit crazy. You start getting multiples, and uh, people start getting multiples. They get tense. They get antsy, and away we go for a. Uh, but now. They've got one back. They're two shots in it. And it's anyone's game. It's a nice little shout-out to some of our committee members that are here with us today. As we said earlier, Alan Clark, chairman of our state umpires committee at the venue. Also from our match committee, we have Helen Schwanke. And from our selection committee, Pam Hawkins. So all of our committees mm -hmm. represented here. So we thank them for giving up their time to make the trip out to Dubbo to perform their various duties that they do as roles on their committee. No doubt we'll put them all to, to hard work, Ben, over yeah, I reckon they're working the remainder of the event. <laughs> well, Pam's out there paying attention. Oh, look. oh, I thought she had Jack there. As I looked up, Leanne uh, running past. There's her back bolt. Did you tip a winner in this event this morning, Ben? Who are you oh, favouring with these four sides going into it? Oh my goodness! Of these, I um, no, I've got only sentimental favourites. Favourites, mate. I'm a big fan of uh, Dorney Heyman. Um, probably my favourite. Uh, look, I was down at BPL with him uh, a couple of weeks ago, and Dorney's just an absolute gun. She made it into the uh, All Star team uh, by a lot of votes. Actually, I think she was uh, exceptional down there and playing really well, and just a great person. So. And she once wore a Perth Suns uniform as well, so <laughs> so got a little bias there. Fantastic, Leanne Chenoweth. Yeah, right on top of it. And the other game, of Hayden is, uh, I think, is the what I'm following, and uh, just for reasons I discussed a little bit earlier, some selection stuff that he's not real happy about, and he's here to prove a point, and I like that. So. Hayden's a very hard man to tip against here at mm. Club Dubbo. Mm -hmm. We've had two international fours tournaments here, and I'm pretty sure he hasn't lost a game. That's right, yeah. He's gone through to win both events. So uh, knows he this really club. likes these greens. Yeah. Knows this environment, knows this club. One of our up-and-comers that he's with, Shelby Powell, up at Raymond Terrace. I remember Fuller saying, what a beautiful bowl. Exactly right. Leanne's got that fantastic shot on the tee there. It's a toucher, a resting toucher, essentially. Let us know in the comments who you're supporting or who you think will be the winner of the mixed pairs out of the four teams we have remaining. Interesting to see the comments that come through. Who's everyone's favourite? That's an important ball by Tom there. Yeah, it helps a lot. We'll be able to just see where that scoreboard is at the back as Ben moves the camera. Leanne has one at the back there also. Yeah, important ball. He's dropped, dropped his first two pretty short. Needed to get one back and give his skipper the best opportunity to uh, to change this head up, essentially. And we're tied up on our neighbouring semi-final. Ten ends played. Ten apiece. Ten all on ten. This is the semi-finals we come to expect. There's two shots in it here. Nothing in it next door. And uh, some amazing bowls going down. Phil Loki saying Dawn Heyman. Or is he just going to go through and not count? This is almost the exact spot that Dawn played to in that practice bowl a couple of ends ago. Well, that's underneath that line. She worked these bowls up to get a closer second. She has done. Mm. Reese just wants another one in the area here. Lose a metre off his last. 
Dawn probably with second, third and fourth closest. Too much room for Andrew Reese. That's a great shot, although that is going to look inviting. Both bowls an option here. She does get that shot bowl and kill the end. Goes Ooh, to the go. spot. Misses the front. She's close. <sighs> oh, just catches Tom's bowl at the front. Right. Andrew will just be trying to draw somewhere up near his last. He'll finish right in front of his previous bowl. He'll be very happy. A very small touch on the shot bowl. We'll be okay. Well, yep. Yeah, where is this going to end up? Well, it might be uh, more handy than you think. Than he thinks, he'd be disappointed he didn't get near it's be really closer. Close but... to county. I think that might be in. Ooh. So even if it is three, Dawn's a chance of reducing the count here by striking well, and that's on a tighter line. Yeah, going to hit that well, front how one. How many bowls will she get out here? All of them. Oh well, on the Jack. <laughs> that's going to be one shot to. Tom and Dawn, yes it is. <laughs> Caught the right angle of Andrew Reese's last bowl. Let's see if I was quick enough on the uh, buttons to see this. You might see the end of it. Uh, Dawn just rushing down, wanting the pink one clean. Hits the front bowl and bounces around like a uh, pinball and moves Jack back for one shot to the team from St. John's Park. Uh, luck begins at the head, we often say. You're at the arcade, you get a couple extra free spins. Yeah, for that <laughs> shot. Not wrong. Fantastic bowl in the area. As you said, probably not the exact bowl she was trying to find. But three bowls there. She had a chance to at least reduce the count and got a really great angle to work up and move the jack to make one. Could have had a lead change there, but Devon's last bowl getting shot. Yes, they're putting down some. Uh... Some highlight reels at the moment. Everyone out there is uh, playing really well. It's great to see. That's exactly what we want in a final. And different conditions too, yeah. mate. Obviously, I'd imagine... Oh, I was at the other venue yesterday, but just watching the bowls finish, we're probably a good two to two and a half seconds slower mm. in green speed with that sort of oh. about 50 or 60 mil of rain that we had here overnight. It's huge. This was a swimming pool. But the surface looks fantastic, doesn't it? Just in coming out here, we've been out at Club Dubbo for a few events over the last few years. Had some weather issues a couple of years ago, yeah. which died off some areas of the greens, but Darren and the team have done a, a super job in getting the surfaces up to what they are. I was uh, staggered when I came out. Um, I don't even know what day it was. Sometime last week, uh, Thursday, to put up the cables and our cable runs how good the surface has looked after you know days of extreme heat we had a you know big heat wave of 37 degrees for about three days and then rain and uh battling the weather these green keepers have done an exceptional job clubs out here in the central west can cop some really tough weather conditions dubbo well known to get into the early and mid 40s throughout summer and if you don't get that precipitation along with it, it makes it very tough so both leads just a little bit off the jack here and number 13 uh, opportunity for Leanne to put the pressure on interesting they're both favoring this narrower side of the green against the breeze just pulls up short In our other semi, 10 shots all. 10 ends play, just looking across at their rink. It looks like Shelby and Hayden holding three. Hayden's last ball trailed the jack behind a pack of bowls at the front. Mick Beasley just down inspecting the head. He's coming back to play his bowl there now. There's a couple of a couple of legends, just St John's Park legends, just munging down some mackers. That's what I'd like to see. The I'm sure the high performance dietitians will be happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> Ideal timing there, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so, Dawny, that's going to be enough for shot. That's the closest. It's not all about being close. Sometimes you just have to be closest.
I'm sure Foster there from North Haven saying uh, she'd love to see Curry in the finals. Uh, giving this game a good crack. And he's uh, her cousin, go team Reese. Yeah, the uh, hard to have a good crack. Okay, so now that she is holding shot, Dawn just worried about those two bowls against her coming in. So just trying to find either side of these front bowls with good weight will be enough to count. Just going to pull up a bit short on this occasion. So Andrew with an opportunity here. Not a must-win end by any means, but he's got an, op an opportunity here with a bit of a wall of bowls to play through. Just needs to hold on to some of these. I think he's going to get to the jack. Oh, jeez. Well, that's definitely second. I thought he had that, and I thought... I look, I was watching watching it live rather than watching it on the screen, and I dead, dead set thought he was he carried Jack. Then he was, wasn't far off. As Dawn walks back to the map. We can let you know that Hayden and Shelby held onto that three, so they've gone out to thirteen ten after eleven ends in this eighteen end format. Three bowl pairs. It's a it's a quick format. It's a tough one. I quite enjoy playing three bowl pairs. Dawn comes in pretty well, Jack High. I think that's pretty well, it's pretty close. much where Thomas asked yeah, for it it's anyway. Close to counting. This format, Ben, used by World Bowls in our most recent World Championships held up on the Gold Coast late last year. Obviously, each competition slightly different. They've got many, many games to fit into a, a short window, so this. 18N, three bowl, gives them the opportunity to play three and sometimes four ends, uh, three or four games, beg your pardon, in mm. one day. Uh, Andrew Reese, if he's got nice weight here, he can turn Leanne's bowl up. Wants to get it right in the middle now, or miss it all together. Oh, there you oh, go. He's done enough. He's laid the other one out. So one shot. One. Makes his way into double figures. I'm going to have to jump out, mate, so I can uh, get to a meeting, but I'll... No worries. I might even go and tap someone on the shoulder out front for you before that starts and see if I can bring someone else in. No worries. Go and get Rusty. To, She's to standing right down me. there. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining me, mate. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, obviously, everyone in working in bowls is as flat out as anything, so I fully understand uh, and appreciate the guys coming in and, and having a go. What a game we've got here. Two shots in it here. Uh, three shots in it on the other other side there after 11 ends. And I'm not going to interrupt the bowls to show you this to do it again. But don't forget to like and share these games uh, as you're watching them. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Share it publicly and you'll be part of a uh, uh, a competition to win up to five a share of $5,000 thanks to Sharp EIT Solutions. So jump onto that. My uh, Facebook feed is pretty generally full of people sharing these these games now, which I love to see. The more we share, the more people get to see it. Well, there's a, another legend, uh, Razor, walking past the front, Ray Pierce. So, first one, pretty long. It's sitting under the scoreboard there. And, uh, oh, good day, mate. <laughs> All right. I have a guest. I'm going to let you introduce yourself. Welcome. What are you doing here? Uh, state triples. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Playing uh, this afternoon, 3.30, I think it is. No worries, dude. Tell everyone who you are and uh, where you're from. Uh, Kyle Hanson. Uh, play at Town Point Bowling Club. Uh, one of the green keepers there, one of three. Um, and yeah, comes to beautiful Dubbo. Yeah. Got, got family here actually. Yeah, you, uh, your mum? Uh, my uncle. No, your uncle's here? My whole mum's side. Your whole uh, mum's side, that's right. Or just so, yeah. ironically, I met some of your family at the pub last night. So, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, they were, uh, we were taking cover from the from the storm and uh, 
Oh, you, someone said, because I saw my silly haircut, and said, oh, you're either a bowler or a darts player. <laughs> I said, yeah, he goes, oh, I'm a bowler, do this. He says, oh, do you know Kyle Hanson? I said, yeah. <laughs> of course I do. He's good. Oh, he's my cousin and all this stuff. It was good fun. Uh, yeah, that storm went pretty bad yesterday. Yeah, it was mon- monstrous, wasn't it? 60 mil of rain here. Jeez. And, uh... Greens look beautiful. Oh, mate, these... Darren's killing it. Yeah. Absolutely amazing stuff. So we've got a pretty good game going on here, mate. Yeah, 12-10. Been watching a little bit um, just at the house. And then, uh, yeah, we come over here for... Uh, just going to have a roll-up afterwards. So, yeah. Who, who are you playing with? I saw Razor out there. Uh, Dave Axon and Simon Little. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Razor's here. He's got the singles. Played yesterday uh, for the mixed pairs. And he's got the singles on Friday. Does it start? I think it is. Oh, mate, I don't know. I don't even know what day it is today. <laughs> We're sitting in this chair behind this computer for seven days straight. Yeah. A lot of talking. <laughs> a lot of talking nonsense. But just uh, while they're... Looking up, look at the crowd here. Like I said, this most of the triples people will be here, but friends, family, everyone, a uh, couple of rows deep. Absolutely loving it out here after massive storms last night. Early on, that's good. Yeah. They were putting on a show, I can tell you now. Now yeah, they do a good job here. Come here for the fours two years ago, they did a great job. Mm. Did you get a gig in Pen- in Platinum? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, for the, for the point? Yeah, excited for that. Um, yeah, it starts, what, 5th of Feb? I think we've got Engadine first up. Yep. So, um, so no, really excited for that. Engadine, I think that's our first live stream game too, actually, your first broadcast game. Oh, beautiful. So, so we'll be there. For that, yeah, really looking forward to Platinum Pennant. Don't yeah. forget, everyone, also, the, the Champion Champion uh, entries, State Champion Champion entries close today. So jump on that, get your entries in. The only way to do it is through Bowls Link. Now, a bit of a trick of this, mate, is Tom and uh, and Andrew are running the exact same set of bowls. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm just going to look for stickers because I'm not sure who's got what there. And they're both red and blue stickers too, just to make it more complex. <laughs> I think Andrew's got two there. How's yeah, speed doing? Yeah, pretty pretty, good. pretty damn good. That's uh, that's one. Twenty-one ends, is it? Eighteen, eighteen ends in the mixed pairs format. I'm just looking next door. It's gone to fourteen ten now. After twelve ends, the uh, Raymond Terrace East Maitland team kicking away. Uh, picked up a three, so that's Shelby Power leading off. Andrew clunking into the front. Comments Darren Draper, a friend of mine from down south, is uh, begging me for bowls cloths. Go and raid everyone. They don't bring their shops down here, Darren. <laughs> well, wanting it to pull up, he is, but uh, I think she'd be happy with just clunking into the back. Oh. Two shots. Was two. So, yeah, like I said, exact same stick has made that confusing, but two's, two's enough. <laughs> We had a, and the multi disability, which ran for the first time as part of the state champs, which was just amazing over at uh, North WRSL Sporties. They, um, two of the bowlers had the exact same rainbow bowls. You know, those ones with seven oh, colours right, to them? Yeah, yeah. That was chaos. <laughs> <laughs> I don't recommend that at all as a commentator. Uh, but the odds of live streaming people with the same <laughs> it's, bowls, it's, yeah. it's, it's astronomical, I know, especially that. You know, we we're lucky enough we had some spare fluoro yellow stickers to cover it up which was nice so who'd you who'd you have to beat to get here for the triples you obviously won your zone uh yeah we um we actually beat um ray pierce harley mcdonald and andrew henry so All right. teammates so yeah a little bit of a grudge match but no <laughs> <it's good. laughs> can't get more of a local derby than players from the same club nah. <laughs> Uh, strong zone you're in out there, so uh, yeah. you've done very well. It's good on the live feed here, just looking at the comments. There's so many, uh, so much split support for the for each of these teams. They're so well supported. St John's Park, Curry Curry, 
East Maitland. Um, who shall we at at the moment? Raymond Terrace Jets. Good Lord. There's a lot of them around as well. Yeah, and Soldiers Point. Pretty sure. Could be wrong, but I think Shelby used to play here. Yeah. So I'm um, Ningen. She was, uh, yeah. Oh, right, yep. Good Shelby shot, Tom. <clears throat> Yeah, she's a country kid. She hasn't been at, um, out at Jets very long, and I think uh, just part of their junior program now. She ages out of the junior program in May. Oh, okay. And I think she'll continue there. She's an exceptional bowler. No, good big move, of course, but mm. uh, no good on her. Good speed, just missing her line there for the shot. So Thomas won, got one on, he's got one behind, he can do what he wants with this one pretty much. He's done his job as the lead, giving his skipper the best opportunity to play uh, player shots. He's done the right thing, he's knocked uh, Leanne through a little bit. Yeah, that looks like a pretty good effort. Got the edge, not quite hitting it fat enough. That's good aim. Sets Andrew up for a good shot there. Uh, the Dodman from uh, Yarrawonga, my whaler bo golf club resort, bowls club. That's a that's a cumbersome name for a bowls club. <laughs> not gonna lie, but uh, uh, good day, mate. Thank you for that. Hayden is like to mention Shelby's been signed up by Taylor Bowls. So probably last tournament with XGs. Yeah, Taylor getting around and, and splashing a bit around, actually. It's good and well-deserved. Yep. You know, Taylor have some uh, some superstars as well. Yep, and uh, just putting it out there, I'm well and truly willing to be bought by, <laughs> <laughs> by, by any of the Bowles brands out there. <laughs> Looking for a Benny Two Shoes personal sponsorship. We could set up a range of Benny Two Shoes shoes. I tried to do that with Puma a couple of years ago. <laughs> Hasn't come to fruition yet. Stuck and under there. Oof. Andrew came out firing. Yeah, the the grass and the line and the weight spot on. And uh, I think. Oh, what are we up? N14, probably from N9. I think he's dropped off a little bit. He's had a... Uh, he's, he's not far off, but he's just not that precision you'd usually expect with Andrew Reese, you know. Actually, the St John's players are keenly watching what's going on next door too. Bodge just had a bit of a run. He put his head down, so he's not happy. He's holding a shot over there, though. You see what I mean about the grass there? Yeah. You can see what he's trying to play, but he's uh, he's just cutting across. <sighs> he's a, except, an exceptional bowler. No, he is. Yeah, I've come up uh, against him a few times, actually, in, in events and uh, state champs. Can play. Yeah. I almost want to get some frustration out and just have a huge run. <laughs> Chuck a cannonball down and uh, and start again. Depends what Dawn does here, but there is a nice shot for that on four end. Mm. Dawn is just looking to dead draw straight down to her partner's bowl there. Oh, she's well, she's back. She had the right line. Hasn't uh, influenced the score at all. It's all up to Henry Reese now. Looks like he's still shaping on the back end. Yeah. Doesn't look happy. No, Just look at his body language. So that's another two to the St John's Park team. Creeping out a little bit here. Yeah. Well, they're a full count ahead now, and that's the danger zone with yeah. three ends left. Uh, Andrew Lynn, the great Andrew Lynn, often talks about that. And the full count ahead is the is the rough one, and the other one is you don't never want to be more than um, a shot, an end behind. Mm. And 
They're certainly there at the moment. Three ends to go. Six shots between them. Well, I did see a game yesterday where uh, one of the teams was three shots down in the last end and somehow managed to drag four out of the last and pull it in, and we didn't expect it all. came out of nowhere. The first two bowls from the lead went down three metres short. The next four bowls were just perfect. <laughs> it's, uh, it was amazing. So lots of people on the feed again, as we'd expect. Monday morning, everyone's either going to work or not going to work. <laughs> Retirees watching as well, uh, sitting there with their phones next to their desk. Don't forget to like and share this. Uh, thanks to Sharp EIT, you could win a lot of prizes. You can do the same thing right now if you want. Jump on your phone and uh, like and share this, this feed and you can win a huge TV. 40-inch touchpad. Beautiful. Good correction here. Good shot. Yeah, that's excellent. So, um, got Clive Robertson just just chucked in a, a comment saying, "A nose has a line right across the uh, two metre line." Didn't get a memo banning this. I don't know. I missed it. If that's it, I'm not a green keeper, so it sounds good. But I like the straight line personally. Uh, how do we live stream for all double games? We've only got we we do one game. Uh, of every round, and sadly we don't have the equipment to do all of them. That's a lot of people and a lot of cameras. Uh, yeah. But we'll be here doing Facebook and YouTube, no no matter what, unless a lightning storm comes across and I'm not risking my cameras, sadly. I miss this bowl. She's all right. Well, a little edge rolling it in took any kind of measure out of it, I think. Oh, actually, she stopped pretty well. It's hard to see at the other end of the green, but... It doesn't really matter. It's the shots are the same either way, I think. The good thing is she's given it a chance, so it's still still pretty good. Nice little four round trail there for Andrew. And the scoreboards are still updated there. 15-10 now after 13 ends. That's a big turnaround on that uh, that match next door. A bit of a difference in uh, timing here. They're two ends behind this one. So we'll see how we go. I'll, at the end of the game, I'll see what the uh, conditions are like. I do have to rush out and move the cameras. So I may not be able to stick with it to watch the end of it. But I'll do my best. Just seen Hayden trail the jack there. Yeah. Sure. He's got a point to prove that man at the moment. I'm really um, wishing him all the best for that. So, yep, still one of the St. John's Park team. Curry Curry needing to pretty much be perfect now to win this game. Yeah, you don't really want to be dropping more than one shot here. Great shot, Dorney Heyman. That's a uh, yeah, great shot, Dorney. Clive Robertson, I'm going to call you out here. It doesn't matter, but the pedants will notice. You noticed. <laughs> it's my mate Robbo from down down south. He's a good mate of mine, and uh... <laughs> yeah, the lines. Uh... That's a contentious one. Like I said, I don't really think think it matters all that much. But I, what do I know? I'm just a commentator. Here comes Andrew looking for anything here, really. Sadly getting not much. Oh, he might have taken second shot. Yeah. Oh, shot's on here for Dawn again on that same hand. Mm. Another run to Tom's bowl at the front. If she crosses over, she moves uh, Andrew out a little bit. And uh, all the options are on that hand. Had a quick look at the card, paying attention to what's going on. Uh, 
Gee, she's good, Dawny Homan. Yeah, Oops, jeez, I've lost that. Her BPL uh, campaign was exceptional. I, uh, like I said, was lucky enough to be down there for that, and she's done. She fully deserved her um, spot in the All Star team. Hundred percent. Even on the day games, not just the night games, which you know, obviously we saw the day games. She was the probably the most focused out of all of the uh, players there. Yeah. Yeah, good effort. Not quite. And Andrew's still with a shot here. He might be looking for a couple. He's got... Excuse me a sec. Like I said, I've lost track of who's at the back there. I think he's got one of those two at the back. Mm. It all depends on Dawn's last ball there, what shot it was. But there is a nice little trick shot. Ward onto the shot bowl. Yeah, yeah so you um, pointing at the screen there. We need a little one of those pen things yeah. like they have at the cricket. Is uh, yeah, just saying that knocking Tom's bowl onto the shot bowl and moving Jack back and through. Here's a shot there, definitely right angle. He's good enough to do it. So they definitely do have. I'm going to say second, but it all depends on um, two bowls at the back if they're uh, beating Dawn's last bowl. But yeah. So Barbara Green just asked me who we're streaming this afternoon. I have forgotten. I looked this I've looked earlier to tell everyone, but I've I have forgotten, so I'll just find out now for you. It's the Tarrant Point team. Barbara definitely against Wee Wah. From the reaction there, I think that's Thomas's back bowl. Yep, one of these to Tarrant Point. It's got a turn point. I'm thinking about you, <laughs> St. John's uh, Park. St. John's Park. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to bring my water in today, so I'm coughing out here after talking for two hours straight. I'll learn. Me. Definitely a must win in for the Curry Curry team. Too far forward. There we go. That's better. Some good players around at the moment, isn't it? Aren't there? You look around. There's a pretty decent crowd sitting here watching this. Yeah, there is. As all the triples players turn up. You see Sam Ferguson over there. Yeah, Sam, Bree watching her um, yep. teammate Dawn on as they're on later. That'll be a good side. Yeah, that'll be huge. Yeah. Well, that Tarrant Point team we're watching this afternoon is no slouch either, I don't think. No, they, I think it's Kate Leanne and Colleen. Mm -hmm. they're, uh, no, they go good. They're a good little side as well. And I haven't met the ju two Jusons and Allen from a uh, wee while, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing all the all the talent around here. This is the joys of a sh state championship. It's just a... Oh, you're a god. Thank you very much. So just this is the example of the club looking after us, getting del water delivered. Legends. Champions. I did, I sorry, yeah, I did. I call you to apprentice yesterday. The assistant, I got told off pretty quick, actually, to just say, you know, correction. So, and just uh, with the staff behind us, uh, like I said, they've done a great job on the greens, these, the the team. Yeah, they have, like I said earlier before, they're looking beautiful. Mm. What's going on next door? 17.10 now. That's... Uh, have definitely kicked away Hayden and uh, and Shelby. Yeah, four to play over there. Very good lead. Shots from Thomas. Dylan Essex down at uh, from down at. Oh no, he's not. Oh, I think he's Braidwood now. The uh, greenkeeper Braidwood, formerly of Aladulla, formerly of uh, St George's Basin. Uh, are we streaming the final this afternoon? We'll be f streaming the final pretty quickly after this game, actually. I'll, I'll have enough time to run down and move the cameras across because for some reason we're changing rinks. And uh, I do know, actually, we'll go between these two because they're on 8 and 10 at 
the moment. So I'll go to rink nine and uh, we'll definitely stream this. Yeah, we're looking out there. Tom's got one. Tom's got three. Yeah. In that triangle. Dylan's playing penance from a little bow. There you go. Yeah, that's a good club. That's a good club, yeah. Yeah, a lovely place. Yeah, just going to knock Thomas in and roll outwards. Yeah, I thought Tom was indicating one down there, but he's just pointing at that ball. <laughs> This is a bit of weight from Dawn. Mm. Yeah, spectacular bowl. Well done. <sighs> Just crossed a little bit. The edge will be nice, but... All he's done is bump, bump Tom up. He's got to be playing those shots. Yeah. Long way back. So 17-11 after 15 next door. So uh, Soldier's Point have just got got one. It's, this is going in the hole, I'd suggest. Yep. Going for a swim. She was looking to come back and I think match up uh, Leanne there at the back. Knocking this one up, but he's just cracked the edge of it. Yeah. Shaking hands. Yeah. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. A three, I think, to uh, to St John's Park, but it barely matters. They've shaken hands and conceded. Uh, yep, definitely three, and conceded the uh, this match. I'll stick with you for a couple of minutes to watch the next one. But congratulations. Uh, a bit of confusion here, no. Well, congratulations, Dawn Heyman and and, uh, and Tom. They've done extremely well, Tom Webb, to win that. Would you like to be playing them in the final, mate? No. No. <laughs> That's the best <laughs> answer. That's a worthy winners and worthy champions. So let's see if I can move this camera across a little bit. I'll have to play around a second. Just bear with me. I'll see what I can see going on over, over the next rink. Um, not knowing much context. Shelby's bowl coming down. So seven shots in and over there as well. Looks like there's a bit of rain falling. Yeah. Oh, well, that settles it, guys. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to watch the end of this game. Uh, keep track of it on our socials and on Bowls Link. I'm running out to rescue my cameras uh, because, frankly, I've got to keep streaming for the next 11 days. <laughs> I can't do this. So thanks, everyone. Uh, Thank you for joining us. No worries. It was You're a pleasure. Absolute legend. And uh, I'd better get the uh, all the screens ready. That one. Once again, thanks, everyone, for joining us. Everyone, congratulations, Dawn and Tom. We'll see you for the final in hopefully about half an hour. See you then.